For this exercise, we're going to be on one foot. Now, when you come onto one foot, you want to make sure that your big toe is touching the ground. I'll take off my shoes so you can see that. Big toe touching the ground, arch doming. That means arch is raising up. That's going to give you a little bit more stability. If you need some more information about how to raise your arches, check out my video, How to Raise Your Arches or Arch Raises. The next thing is you're going to be squeezing your butt to help stabilize you. When my butt's not squeezed, my hips kind of drop, especially this side. When I squeeze, I stabilize. We're going to hold this as long as we can, and we're going to be mindful that our, our upper thighs are not together. Make sure everything is nice and apart, and try not to cheat with this. For this exercise, we're going to find some straight line for us. And for me, it's going to be right in between the cracks in the floor. Again, butt squeezed, arch is raised. I'm going to be walking along this line. To make it more difficult, you can walk backwards along the line. You can also move your head from side to side as walking. Notice that was difficult for me because I'm talking as well as moving my head and walking. So you can figure out ways to make it more difficult for yourself, but this is the basis. For this exercise, we're going to squat. If you need information on how to squat, check out my video, How to Squat Properly. Arch is raised, butt comes back, squat, come up onto a single leg. Step out, squat, onto a single leg. Squat, single leg. My hands come here. There's no specific place you need to put your hands. If you put your hands behind you, it might be a little bit more difficult. If you put your hands in the air, it might be a little bit more difficult. Do whatever works for you. As long as you're squatting and then taking a brief pause on one leg. Notice my head isn't moving all over the place. I'm trying to stabilize. For this exercise, we're going to be lunging. If you need some information on how to lunge properly, check out my video on the lunges. This is just a quick overview. Weight on our front leg. I'm on a slippery floor. Make sure you are not on a slippery floor, at least barefoot, when you are lunging. This is just so you can see some of my alignment. All my weight on the front leg, come down, come up. You don't have to touch your knee on the ground, just down and up. The biggest key for this, I would say, is all your weight on that front leg. And when you come down, try to make a 90 degree angle here at the knee and a 90 degree angle here at the torso as you come down. You can modify that a little bit by alternating legs. You can also try a single leg lunge. I don't have more than one pound of pressure on the ground as I come down and up. 